Cool. Good morning. Uh, I'll just give everyone a minute to join. I can see everybody coming in. Um, if you have a pair of headphones uh, handy, go ahead and put those on. We find that it makes a, a big difference when you're trying to listen to the webinar. And if you can just type in the chat box below or use a little wave sign to let us know that you can hear okay, that would be great. Good morning, everybody. Okay, cool. So it sounds like we're all good to go. So let's get started. Thank you for joining our Visit Grapevine web webinar. We know it's been a challenging time for the industry, and we're really grateful uh, for you all for joining us today. My name is Bailey Gorst, and I've been in the background running these webinars, and it's been fantastic to see so many agents across New Zealand and Australia get involved, and it's finally my turn. This is a sneak peek into my, my office slash living room, so, so welcome. And I'm your in-market rep here in New Zealand and Australia for Grapevine, and I'm joined here by Heather. Morning, Heather. Hi. She's over in Texas. And this is a great opportunity to extend your knowledge for when we're back in action selling holiday experiences. And we're here to help you build itineraries and be your connection between you and your client and all that Grapevine has to offer. Uh, as we go along, if you have any questions, can you please type those in the comment box on the right hand side and we will answer these where possible as we go along or at the end of the webinar and I'm also available for any additional questions uh, via email and hopefully you have heard all about our sell your way program with American Airlines and if you're part of the incentive program uh, you'll you'll earn an extra point for joining us today and if you haven't registered you can still do so and we'll follow up after this webinar with with all of the details now before we start today I want to ask you a couple of questions about Grapevine and then I'll hand you over to Heather but to begin with if you can go ahead and answer these questions uh, the first one is, have you visited Grapevine, Texas? And the second is, have you sold Grapevine to your clients? And then finally, how would you rate your knowledge of Grapevine? So I'll give you um, all a little bit longer to, to answer that, those questions. So just remember to click your answer and then at the bottom, go ahead and click submit. Oh, it looks like almost everyone has answered the question. So I'm going to end that now, but thanks very much for, for giving us your answers. Now I'd like to go ahead and introduce you to Heather Egan. Heather is the Director of Leisure and International Sales for the Great Fun Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us today, Heather. And I'll hand it over to you to tell us all about your beautiful city. Well, hello everyone. I guess I, sh I should probably say howdy since that's what we say here in Texas. Uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully get a chance to meet all of you eventually, but we're really excited to be in this market. So um, I guess with that, we'll go ahead and get started. If you're all ready to learn about Grapevine. So first of all, I wanna tell you a little history about Grapevine. We are a historic town. We were actually founded one year before Texas became a state. Uh, Grapevine was actually a meeting place for Native Americans or American Indians. This was a free trading ground. So this is where they came. There's actually a peace treaty that is still intact today uh, that allows for free trade here in Grapevine. We are, uh, when the first settlers came to Grapevine, they found this land covered with wild Mustang grapes. So we got the name Grapevine Springs, and eventually we shortened that to Grapevine. And we still, you know, our history and heritage are very important here. If you ever get to see and visit our historic Main Street area, it's very evident there. We're really proud of our history. And of course, with the name Grapevine and that heritage of having all the grapes here, we have made quite a uh, destination for wine as well. So Vintage Texas has a couple of different meanings there. We jokingly like to say that we are a drinking town with a historical problem. So where is Grapevine located? Grapevine is centrally located right between Dallas and Fort Worth. So two major cities in Texas, uh, about 20 to 30 minutes on either side of us. It's very easy to get anywhere in, Gra or anywhere in the US from Grapevine. 
We are the host city to DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So anywhere in the U.S. from here is just four hours away. And if you're driving, we are just three to four hours to Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Oklahoma City, um, all sorts of different things. Louisiana is only two hours away. So you can really get around easily from Grapevine. I mentioned we're the host city of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Uh, we have over 200 nonstop destinations, uh, both domestic and internationally, including Sydney, a direct flight to Sydney on Qantas. And beginning in October, we will have a direct flight to Auckland on American Airlines. So we're really excited about the opportunities there. Uh, DFW is the fourth largest airport in the world. And uh, it's also the first carbon neutral airport in North America and the largest in the world. So uh, we're pretty proud of that fact. And once you arrive at DFW Airport, you're only 10 minutes from all of Grapevine's um, hotels and uh, at, well, downtown Grapevine. So it's very easy to get around. But we mentioned the wine. So what many people don't realize is Texas is the fifth largest producer of wine here in the United States. Uh, you might wonder what kind of varieties that are varietals <laughs> uh, we make here or we grow here. Uh, popular, you'll find Sangiovese, Tempranillo, Vignet, Cabernet, Malbec is starting to pick up a bit more. So we have some great wines here. I try to get out and do plenty of research. So uh, try and visit the winery tasting rooms quite often. We currently have seven winery tasting rooms here in Grapevine. They all have a very different theme to them. Uh, you'll see a couple pictures here. The one on the left is Delaney Vineyards, which is a French style chateau. Uh, and on the right is Cross Timbers Winery, which is located in a historic farmhouse here in town beautiful grounds and the barn that you see in the background, they actually do special group tastings or dinners and events there. And you'll find all sorts of winery tasting rooms in our historic district, all within walking distance. We also do a number of events around the winery tasting rooms. We do four wine trails a year. One of my favorites is the Hallow Wine Trail where everyone gets dressed up in different costumes. It's celebrated around Halloween and go up and down Main Street. It's just fun to see all the creative folks out there drinking and uh, it's just, it's a good time. We also do that have the largest wine festival in the Southwest United States, Great Fest. We do a jazz wine train on our Grapevine Vintage Railroad. So a lot of different events to celebrate wine around here. And uh, we also have a company called Grapevine Wine Tours. And this company will work with individuals, whether it's one person or a group up to 250, and they can make arrangements for you to visit three wineries. They'll provide a tour guide, the bus, they'll set up the wineries, and it'll include lunch or dinner, whichever time you choose. Shopping, who doesn't wanna do shopping when they travel? We have a lot of shopping opportunities here in Grapevine. Historic Downtown Grapevine has 80 unique shops. Uh, they're all local shops, so you're not gonna find a Gap or a Walmart in Downtown Grapevine. Uh, you'll find a lot of boutiques, a lot of galleries, uh, of course, the winery tasting room. So a lot of fun stuff there. We are also home to the second largest Bass Pro shops in the world. So camping gear, fishing, uh, boats, uh, hunting, whatever you're needing there. Plus they have a gun range in there, they have an archery range, and they teach fly fishing lessons. And then probably most popular for our international visitors is Grapevine Mills Mall, which has over 180 shops and they offer tax-free shopping. So you can hit all the stores, which includes some outlets such as Neiman Marcus, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and uh, when you're done, go to the tax-free kiosk, show your receipts and your purchases and get a refund for your taxes. Historic Nash Farm here in Grapevine has, is an actual working farm that's been running since the 1800s. And we continue to operate it like an 1800s farm today. So we still have antique equipment. Um, we still have a horse still pulls the teal. The farmhouse is an actual working farmhouse. We have a wood burning stove in there. This 
museum, more or less, is not like your typical museum where you walk through and you have to stay behind the velvet rope. Here, you can actually play games in the house. You can uh, work with someone to actually learn how to bake bread on a wood-burning stove. You can try and uh, make churn uh, ice cream. You can help feed the animals. So it's really unique. It's a complimentary museum or a complimentary attraction unless you have a group and you're wanting to do a special reception or something and then there's a small fee for that. Uh, they do have the farm animals there and it's just a fun thing to point out. They have three baby lambs that were born this week and they are so cute. <laughs> the Grapevine Vintage Railroad. This is an attraction that we run, an excursion train. It's a historic train. We uh, The train cars are all from the 1920s and we run this between downtown Grapevine and we run it over to the historic stockyards in Fort Worth, which is a great area to go if you want to experience life of the old Western cowboy. Basically what you probably expect when you think of Texas. This is where you'll walk the brick lined streets and you'll see cowboys on horseback. You can go inside a saloon and get a beer and hear live entertainment, uh, go into the Western stores, check out you know some Western clothes. They have the rodeo. A lot of great things over there. So it's a fun thing to definitely experience when you come to Texas, and it's a fun way to be able to do it. We also do a lot of events on the train during the year. Uh, we have the jazz wine train I mentioned. Kiss Me, my, Kiss Me, I'm Irish. We do around St. Patrick's Day, as well as several other fun events throughout the year. And of course, you've heard me talk a lot about historic downtown Grapevine. This is really the heart of the city. And unfortunately, pictures just don't do it justice. Uh, when you get here and you see it, you're, you really see how charming downtown is. We are still, even though we're in the middle of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which is a population of over 6 million people, Grapevine's population is about 50,000 people. So we still have that small town charm downtown, even though we have big city amenities all over. Uh, they're all local restaurants, local shops, the winery tasting rooms, a lot of public art that all tells the history of Grapevine. So it's a very unique area to be. We're also very proud that we have working artisans in Grapevine. We actually have an entire district just dedicated to working artisans. Here you can see uh, Holder Dane Gallery has pottery making, they do canvas painting, jewelry making, and you can schedule a lesson with any of their artists. They, we have Vetro Glass Blowing Studio where you can go in and learn how to make your own bowl or Christmas ornament, things like that. We have a tin smith, we have a bronze sculptor, we have a blacksmith. So we have uh, all sorts of artisans right here in Grapevine. So it's really fun to see them do their craft and get to browse their galleries and uh, even get to learn from them. Of course, my other favorite thing to do when I travel is to eat out. <laughs> I'm always worried about where's the next meal. I'm excited to try new restaurants. And here in Texas, we have certain foods that are probably, you probably think of when you think of Texas. Steaks, barbecue, Tex-Mex, margaritas, which were invented in Texas, craft brews, and uh, all of those you can find right here in Grapevine. We have over 200 restaurants and you can find pretty much any cuisine that you are looking for here. Uh, lots of great local restaurants to enjoy, as well as some popular chains as well. We also have a company called Grapevine Food Tours, and they offer tours daily. It's a walking tour of historic downtown. They talk about the history. They provide a guided tour. They visit some of the local popular uh, locations in town uh, to try some some of the local foods, some of the fun stuff like spaghetti pizza or a fried avocado, uh, the Grapevine Olive Oil Company wines. They also do a, uh, a wine and sweets tour and they have a beer and bites tour. So there are a few different things you can choose there. Grapevine has 20 hotels and I mentioned they're all within 10 minutes of DFW Airport. They also all have complimentary airport transportation, except for two. We have two resort properties, the Gaylord Texan Resort and Great Wolf Lodge that do not, but they are very close by. Uh, the Gaylord Texan Resort is what you see right there. That hotel has 1,811 rooms. It's all under this glass atrium that you see on the right. They have a, it's really the best of Texas under that roof. You have a replica of the Alamo, the Riverwalk, Palo Duro Canyon. They have five restaurants. They have a spa, 
three pools, one which is a water park, uh, all the, um, well, not necessarily all the pools, but for the most part, all within a 72 degrees. So <laughs> it is a beautiful location, whether you're staying there as a guest or you can just visit and walk around and experience the atmosphere of it. Of our other hotels, we have pretty much any brand that you may be looking for. Great Wolf Lodge has an indoor and outdoor water park. Our Hilton DFW Lakes, which is in the top right corner, it is a resort property that has its own lake with hiking trails, outdoor volleyball courts, tennis courts, an indoor and outdoor pool, and their own ranch on property for private meals or functions. Uh, we have two properties at the airport, the Hyatt and the Grand Hyatt. Both have recently been renovated. They're basic, they're soundproof, they're wonderful properties, uh, as well as a lot of select service properties, embassy suites, courtyard, uh, you, you name it what you're looking for, and we pretty much have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Grapevine has been named an International Festival and Events City by the International Festival and Events Association because we have events year round and the quality of our events. Two of our largest events are Main Street Fest and Grape Fest. Main Street Fest takes place usually every May. Unfortunately, this May we're moving it to June because of everything going on right now. But it is basically our craft brew celebration. Uh, we uh, highlight different craft brews from across the state, uh, as well as internationally. We have live entertainment, arts and crafts, carnival rides, all sorts of fun stuff. Great Fest, as I mentioned, is the largest wine festival in the Southwest, and that is every September. And along with the arts and crafts and the live entertainment, we also have a People's Choice Pavilion where you can vote on your favorite Texas wines. We even have an international wine pavilion where Australia was recently featured. And probably my favorite area is the Champagne Terrace, because I do enjoy my champagne. We have several other areas or several other uh, festivals throughout the year uh, with the train as well as the wine trails. The uh, little girl you see on the right there, that is part of our Butterfly Flutterby, which takes place in October and celebrates the migration of the monarch butterfly uh, as it heads down to Mexico. So we have a butterfly parade, children and even dogs get dressed up as butterflies and all the kids get a butterfly in an envelope and we do a release where everybody releases the butterflies at the same time. Grapevine is also the Christmas capital of Texas and that is a, uh, a title we were actually received from the state senate here. So we have 1,400 events in 40 days from mid-November to the first weekend of January. That includes Northville Express, which is on the train. Kids ride in their pajamas. They get to go to the North Pole where Mrs. Claus gets on the train and gives everybody a gift. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. We have the ice exhibit at the Gaylord Texan, which is these massive hand-carved displays of ice, as well as slides that you can go down. We make it snow in several different places around town, live holiday entertainment, Christmas classic movies, uh, holiday music everywhere you go. It's very festive here. It's a lot of fun, a great time to visit. We are very convenient for layovers because of our location. Uh, TexRail is actually, it connects Grapevine with the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. We are only five minutes by train and you can hop on that at the airport. And that takes you, that picture you see right there in front with the tower, that is our Grapevine Main, which will be opening this summer. That is the new train station. In there, there is an observation tower. You can go to the top of that and there's a magnificent 360 views that will include downtown Dallas, Fort Worth, and Lake Grapevine. And uh, also Harvest Hall, which will have seven restaurants, two bars, and live entertainment. We know how to do a train station here in Grapevine. Right in the middle there, that building in the middle is Hotel Vin. It is a Marriott, uh, Marriott autograph collection property, which will be opening this summer. It's gonna be an upscale boutique style property. And right at the, this is the gateway to our historic district. So everything's in walking distance. You're five minutes by train to the airport. So it's a great location to be. Also just to note, Grapevine operates its own visitor shuttle. The visitor shuttle connects to Terminal D, which is our international terminal at DFW Airport, the Gaylord Texan Resort, historic downtown Grapevine, as well as several other areas around town, including Grapevine Mills. 
We're also the best place to be if you're planning on visiting the entire area. Because we are right in the middle, you can easily spend a day in Dallas uh, to the west or to the east of us, spend a day in Fort Worth to the west of us. If you're wanting to go to a Dallas Cowboys game or a Texas Rangers baseball game, or maybe visit Six Flags, that's in Arlington just south of us. Uh, so lots of things that you can do. As a matter of fact, the largest casino in the world is only an hour north of us on the Oklahoma-Texas border. So uh, very convenient when you stay here in Grapevine. So we provided a sample itinerary here for you. So just to kind of run through it really quick, you, when you get to Grapevine, I usually recommend doing a tour of downtown first because it helps to know a little bit more about our history. I think you appreciate everything even more when you kind of know things like Bonnie and Clyde's gang robbed a one of the stores that we have here, things like that. And of course, visit the galleries and visit the artisans while you're here. The Grapevine Glockenspiel is a picture on the, uh, that bottom picture there. I didn't mention that earlier, but it is the only one in North America. And it has these animatronic train robbers. They come out six times a day. They argue over who's gonna rob the train, how they're gonna divide the money, and it ends in a shootout. So you get your good old fashioned Texas shootout daily here in Grapevine. Of course, you gotta get in some wine tasting while you're here. And as we mentioned earlier, I definitely uh, recommend visiting the Gaylord Texan and taking that in. On day two, uh, if you want, you can start your day with a visit to our settlements to city museums. This tells, it's a complimentary museum that talks about the history of Grapevine. So you learn a little bit more about our town. Uh, the Grapevine Food Tours is a great way to learn about Grapevine and to get some great tastings in while you're doing it. Definitely make sure you have time to do some shopping on Main Street. You'll really enjoy the stores that we have down here, the unique shops. It's very charming. And uh, take a visit over to Nash Farm. As I mentioned, it's complimentary, so you can just walk around. And uh, dinner, if you have time or if you happen to be here, we have the Texas Star Dinner Theater performs every weekend. It's a murder mystery, uh, very comical, but everybody enjoys it. And then day three, so I've got a 40 itinerary here. Day three, you start your day with a nice little peaceful tour of the botanical gardens or head over to Lake Grapevine where we have walking and hiking trails. So there's a, both of those complimentary. You can go and enjoy the nature and the beauty here in Grapevine. Uh, if you're in downtown Grapevine, lots of opportunities for lunch. And one of those is Will Hoyt's, which was originally a filling station or a service station here in Grapevine. And we like to joke that it's still a filling station. Uh, it has the original gas pump out front and a Model T Ford hangs over the buffet. Uh, they have a lot of history up in, on their walls as well. So it's a great place to be, especially if you're a visitor. And then hop on that Grapevine Vintage Railroad that I mentioned, because you have to go get that Texas experience, go over to the stockyards. And then in the evening on Main Street, what I didn't mention earlier is in the evenings, you can find live, live entertainment all up and down Main Street and all the restaurants and the winery tasting rooms. Everything from country music to jazz to classic rock. So you'll find everything and it's all complimentary. We don't have any cover at any of our locations. On that final day, definitely brunch. We love to brunch here in the U.S., so I'm not sure about you all, but we brunch is one of our favorite meals. Uh, Main Street Bistro on Main Street is a great recommendation. Or if you're wanting to do something a little more Texan while you're here, Meet You Anywhere Barbecue has great breakfast burritos. And uh, then definitely hit Great by Mills. You got to get that last minute shopping in before heading home. And while there, they have a couple of attractions to visit Sea Life Aquarium, Legoland Discovery Center, Peppa Pig, World of Play. So great family attractions. And we also have some great other attractions there like Round One Entertainment that has karaoke, bowling, some of the newest arcades available. The Escape Room at Grapevine Mills is one of the top 100 in the US. So some fun family adventures. And finally, I just wanna point out uh, we have partnered with our friends up in Oklahoma and Louisiana and created a new itinerary, Cowboys, Indians, and all that jazz. And uh, we look forward to, we're actually planning another webinar next month, so May 27th, and uh, look forward to sharing all those details with you all. Then. So thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to visit with you today.
Um, we also love to brunch down here, but um, <laughs> it sounds like a, a lot of fun. Um, and hopefully we've given you all um, some helpful information on what makes Grapevine so special and the perfect destination for anyone visiting Texas. So before you go, we do have a couple of questions to test your knowledge about Grapevine. And by correctly answering these three questions, you stand to win one of two wine packs worth $75. So there are three questions there. Uh, the first is Grapevine is home to which international airport? Um, you'll find how many wineries in Grapevine. And then finally, how long will it take you on the text rail to get from DFW, so there's one of the answers, uh, to downtown Grapevine? So just a couple more um, minutes to answer that. And Heather, I do have a question here from Kim. Uh, would you suggest clients hire a rental car to get to Dallas and Fort Worth um, if staying in Grapevine? What would be your recommendations there? I actually, I actually just saw that. You know, uh, that's completely up to the client. If they are comfortable with a rental car, then definitely that's great. But we also have Uber, Lyft. Um, all of that is very easy here. And we do have a text rail and I just went blank. The TRE is what they call Trinity Rail. Uh, they do both connect at DFW Airport. So one heads west. Text rail does Grapevine in Fort Worth. And the TRE heads uh, east to Dallas but the trains can take a little bit longer. So usually just doing Uber or Lyft, or if you're comfortable and you wanna get out and explore some more, sometimes having your own vehicle is a great way to go. And do most of the hotels have uh, have parking? Yes, yes. All of our hotels do have parking. Uh, almost all of them are free. I think only, only the Gaylord Texan charges for parking. So you can park for free at any of the other locations and yeah, as I mentioned, most of them will do shuttle service all around Grapevine as well. Well, that's good to know. Thank you very much. We have um, another question. It's a slightly random one, but I like it. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anywhere somewhere can, someone can buy great cowboy boots in Grapevine? Do you have a, a recommendation for a boutique shop on Main Street? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I have definitely gotten some cowboy boots on Main Street. There's a couple of places. We have some really cute boutiques on Main Street, um, like chic type of boutiques, ooh la la, um, a couple of other fun places. So you can definitely find them there. As well as at Grapevine Mills, there is a shop that is dedicated to Western boots and Western wear. Perfect. And I can try and find those names and send those over to you by email, Amanda, if you wanted to um, save those for, for when you have some clients going to Texas. Thanks very much. If anybody else has any other questions that we can answer before we end today, um, let us know. Otherwise, hopefully everybody's managed to uh, answer those questions. If you haven't, just you can scroll down. There's a little... Uh, I guess a scroll bar uh, but otherwise thank you very much so thank you so much Heather and thanks to everyone for joining us today if you haven't already please sign up for next week's webinar which is all about Oregon and in the meantime we're going to finish with a video uh, that shows why Grapevine has earned the title of the Christmas capital of Texas thanks Heather Discover the magic in Grapevine, the Christmas capital of Texas, with 1,400 events in 40 days, just minutes from DFW Airport in historic Grapevine. Join events like Lone Star Christmas and Ice at Gaylord Texan Resort, Snowland and North Pole Express presented by Great Wolf Lodge, along with scuba diving Santa at Sea Life. Enjoy delicious fare at locally owned bistros and cafes and wine tasting on the Urban Wine Trail. Spend the night in the Christmas capital of Texas with holiday hotel packages. Visit Grapevine, Texas, USA. Next week. Bye.